so I had a conversation with my significant other. We are going to name our daughter Farina. We summoned for Farina. It worked out exactly like how it should. These two cards we just purchased with tax. I mean, it's over $500. One of the cards is coming from Japan. One of them has to get eBay verification. We'll make a video with the whole collection. I put in the offer for Nella SSP. There is a auction by the time this is going live. I've already won the auction. And how can I win the auction? Because based on my understanding of things, you just bid $500 and whatever the price comes out to be is what you pay. So there's very little chance that I get beaten on these auctions. Now, I'm going to discuss kind of a, this conversation. I think it's important to have. She doesn't get why MetaZoo is so cheap. And if MetaZoo is so cheap, doesn't that mean the players are very happy? And then I had to explain that uh, they used it as an investment. And she was so shocked to hear and we're buying, and, and the reason I'm showing these Oshino cool cards, we're buying very high-end Weiss. Very high-end Weiss cards. Um, I will show you off the collection sometime later. But every day we're, we're spending 300 It was 300 today. It was 200 yesterday. Somewhere around that. When she finds an auction, she wants to win it, we just bid 1000 bucks, and whatever it comes out to be is whatever it comes out to be. So she likes Oshino Co., she likes, uh, there's another set we're trying to build. Oh, yeah, we already built the Spy Family. We're, we're buying booster boxes to store now and stuff like that, miser sets and trial decks. But we're, we're pretty much done with Spy Family. There's only one Anya. It's a secret rare Anya I haven't even seen at, at auction. But if that, that ever appears, we'll bid like $2,000 and whatever happens is whatever happens. So that's all to tell you, like, she's getting into collectability. So she's coming from the a voice of a new collector trying to understand, you know, why things are priced this way. So for the Oshino Co., there are SSPs, and there's one SSP every two cases. Every case has a, or a master case, and every case has a, uh, what's it called? Every case has 18 booster boxes. So simply math, it's really hard to pull these cards, so that's why they're super expensive. For MetaZoo, there seems to be an unlimited supply of this stuff, and that's why it's cheap. And she's, she's, in her mind, she's wondering, like, hey, shouldn't this be, like, the happiest player base on Earth? Because they're getting boxes, you know, for, like, $20. When she looks at a MetaZoo box for $20, even a Hello Kitty box is $50 now, and you compare it to... A wise box. Wise boxes are really cheap in Japanese. You can get Spy Family for twenty-five. She doesn't understand why the Meta Zoo card singles are not as valuable, like the Mothman's and so on. What is the best card you can pull from UFO, and how valuable would that be compared to the best card you can pull from Oceania Co., which is the one we bought right now? And that was an excellent play. It's very interesting to explain to somebody because they're not thinking of cards as an investment. And when people don't think of cards as an investment, what they're going to do is they're going to buy their favorite characters. They're going to buy things that they enjoy, that they will open. We've opened a shit ton of um, Spy X Family looking for the... I mean, there's a few cards. Actually, there's another card we're missing. It is the Anya Trial Deck. And we, we're, we're just trying to pull it because we don't see it for sale very often. Uh, at least in auctions, there's a lot of, you know, buy it now where they just like, you know, they like quadruple the price of what the last sale was, hoping for some sucker to do it. We're not going to be suckered in that. And C is learning how to collect and she never like understood this, like these comments. So I was showing we I was showing her the video last night about the guy in the Meadow Zoo and how he turned forty dollars into twenty five thousand. And she's like, why would anyone want to pay that? And I, I couldn't explain to her, like, the people who would pay $25,000 or $40 of artwork are doing so because they hope it goes to $50,000. Like, in her mind, a $25,000 investment could buy basically every card of every anime character she's watched in her entire life. So she doesn't get... She, and she also she never understood Magic the Gathering, no matter how many times 
I've kind of explained it to her, like, why, why do we need 400 dual lands? Well, it's a, no, can we play 400? No, we can't. And I think it's uh, very interesting, and maybe we'll do, like, a podcast if there's interest in that, to see, like, what a new player. So we did Pokemon together. We opened some Pokemon in this channel. I think her biggest hit was the Mewtwo V-Star. We've opened some vintage packs, but they're, they're hard because they're all weighed and stuff. And the reality of the situation is when your game is viewed as an investment and now it's not, it's a very disturbing thing for a lot of the community. But if you actually love this game, you are having a blast. You're getting product for one fifth or what, I mean, Nightfall, what Nightfall sell for Probstein, a pretty reputable seller, right? And that person is going to deliver it fast. 35 dollars what 45 dollars were shipping not bad you know not bad at all you know and the and, and it's interesting they're selling them in lots of free now that's that's great too i mean this is good news for you guys so in her mind the fact that meta zoo has cratered into oblivion is actually a good thing she's not thinking of it as an investment opportunity she's thinking of it oh these guys can finally get the cards they really want and I was like, yeah, that, that makes sense. But they're not thinking in this uh, linear way. They're thinking, oh, man, I got smoked. I got burnt. But in all reality, these people, if they truly love the game, they should be buying ferociously right now. And, and not, not pretending that, oh, this game is going to be valuable someday. They should be buying because they just like it. You know, I've never watched that Oshinio Co anime i don't know any of the characters i don't know which ones are good or which ones are bad but she's really into it one season and she loves the anime and uh, when i met her it was one of her favorite anime so i thought as kind of a uh, a gift for a birthday or something i just get her the complete set of the ssps which are expensive as hell i, I had no idea but people buy things they like not things they want to invest in only later when you get that addiction. And for me, like when I was younger, I bought things I liked. Now, and the games that I have the most fun for, I don't even sell them. Like Inuyasha, Meta X, which is not Meta Zoo. Uh, what, I, what I've been doing like, oh, we're doing One Piece. We've been opening a lot of One Piece because it's really cheap. If you love One Piece and we do love One Piece together then why would we want things to be super expensive? All the, why would we want a booster box to be $820? That means we can't open it. That means we have to treat it as an investment. Why would we want something to be $82,200? $8,200, I mean, on, in Weiss, you can buy, you know, on the average of $200 for a really nice card, 40 nice cards, right? I mean, 40 of your favorite anime cards graded. You want things to be cheap. That's why MetaZoo is the best game in the world, right? 